Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another calculus problem solving question. This is a pretty difficult one, so if you're unfamiliar with differentiation and you don't know how to find the maximum or the minimum, then you probably shouldn't attempt this question. So go back to some of my other tutorials if you're not sure what I just said. Okay, so the question is, find the height and the radius of the cylinder placed inside the right circular cone below that will result in the maximum volume. So here, as you can see, I have a cone and inside this cone is a cylinder. And basically, we want to change the dimensions of the cylinder so that the volume of the cylinder is the maximum. You can't change the dimensions of the cone because it's already fixed. The cone has a height of 14 centimeters and the width of 8 centimeters. So what would the dimensions of the cylinder be that is inside the cone right now that will give us the maximum volume of the cylinder? So have a play with this. Uh, hopefully, maybe you can solve it on your own. It took me a little bit of time, so hope, uh, hopefully it'll be a challenge for you guys. So have a go at it and come back when you're done. Okay, so let us uh, just come up with some equations related to what we're doing. Okay, so if you have a look at this cone, um, let me just draw it out, draw another picture of this. So inside this cone, I'm now going to label a right angle triangle using the height and the radius of the cone. Alright, so this is oops. This is a right angle triangle here. And let me just get rid of the R and the H of the cylinder because that might confuse you. So we have a right angle triangle here where the height of the right angle triangle is 14 and the width of the right angle triangle is 4 centimeters. Okay, now the angle that we have, let's call that theta. Now, what do we have for the trigonometry ratio for theta? We have tan theta equals opposite over adjacent so tan theta is equal to 14 over 4. And if you simplify that fraction, then you get um, 7 over 2. Okay, now I'm going to, as you can see here, I'm drawing a few diagrams that they all represent the same thing. So I'm now going to reproduce this diagram. I'm going to reproduce that diagram and show you guys something related to this. And that is, if I draw another triangle, okay, if I draw another triangle from the tip of the cylinder, okay, to the top of the cone, Okay, if I draw another right angle triangle here, then we have the same angle, theta. Okay, this theta is the same as this theta. Now, what is the height and the width of this top smaller triangle? Well, the height of the smaller triangle is going to be 14 minus h is the height of the top triangle, right? Because we have because we have h down here 
this is H so therefore the top triangle the height of it must be 14 minus H and the width the bottom the base of the triangle is going to be the radius of radius of the cylinder now because this, these two angles are equal we can write another equation saying tan theta okay both thetas are equal because these two triangles are similar triangles okay using the rule of uh, I don't know year 9 geometry parallel lines um, so theta tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent and in this triangle here this is the opposite side so it's 14 minus H over um, adjacent side is the radius now since the top tan theta is equal to the bottom tan theta we can then say that 7 over 2 which is from here is equal to 14 minus h over r now I can rearrange that to make h the subject so that becomes 7 r over 2 equals 14 minus h right? because I'm multiplying by r on both sides and then I'm going to make h the subject so I'm moving h to the left so h equals 14 minus 7r over 2 so I'm moving h to this side and I'm moving 7r over 2 to this side okay so h equals 14 minus 7r over 2 so we have an expression for h with respect to r now let's find the volume of a cylinder volume of a cylinder V of cylinder equals um, what's the volume of a cylinder pi r squared h pi r squared h base area times perpendicular height so if that's the volume of a cylinder um, I'm now going to substitute this expression for h where h is so v is equal to pi r squared times 14 minus 7 r over 2 okay so let's expand this out so I have v equals um, 14 uh, so expanding 14 pi r squared and then we have minus 7 pi r cubed over 2 right multiplying pi r squared by 7 r over 2 okay so that is the volume now who remembers how to find the maximum volume to find the maximum what we do is we find the derivative v dash and we make it equal to zero All right because the maximum occurs when the gradient is equal to zero so let's find the function for the gradient which is v dash now don't forget pi is just a number so you treat it as just multiplying by 3.14 so if you are having trouble dealing with pi just pretend that it's 3.14 so it's 14 times 3.14 times r squared so if I differentiate it I move the power to the front so it's 2 times 14 pi r minus now I'm moving the 3 to the front so it's 3 times 7 pi r squared over 2 okay so let's simplify that a little bit so v dash equals 
28 pi r minus 21 over 2 pi r squared. Now let's try and solve this uh, by making it equal to 0. So maximum occurs at v dash equals 0. So 0 equals 28 pi r minus 21 over 2 pi r squared. Factorize out the r. So it's r bracket 28 pi minus 21 over 2 pi r. Right, so I factorized out the r. And then we have 28 pi minus 21 over 2 pi r is equal to 0, right? Because we're trying to solve it, so I'm moving the r to the other side. 0 divided by r is still 0. So I'm left with this expression equals 0. And then I'm going to move this term to the right hand side, so 28 pi is equal to. 21 over 2 pi r and then I'm going to make r the subject so r equals 28 pi times 2 divided by 21 pi and r equals according to Desmos r equals so 28 pi times 2 over 21 pi is equal to 2.666 so it's 2 and 2 thirds um, so that's the radius of the um, cylinder that'll give us the maximum volume okay now don't forget here r can also equal 0 so using the no factor theorem right r is equal to 0 or and this are either when two things multiply together to give you zero uh, either this is zero either the first term is zero or the second term is zero so either r is equal to zero or all of this is equal to zero and then we solve for r now we want to see which one is the maximum so you can either just draw a graph of it or you can use the second derivative test. So the second derivative test second derivative test and uh, unfortunately I don't think I have done a video on that yet but basically it says uh, if v double dash is equal is bigger than zero then it's a maximum sorry then it's a minimum if v double dash it's is smaller than zero then it's a maximum so if we find an expression for v double dash so v dash is equal to this v double dash is equal to 28 pi minus uh, 42 over 2 pi r right because I'm differentiating it again so if we substitute in here r is equal to 2 and 2 over 3 substitute it into that equation v double dash equals 28 pi minus four, 42 over 2 so that's just 21 times uh, what was it 2 and 2 over 3 okay so putting that in your calculator you get negative 87.96 right, so it's a negative number so since V double dash is, is smaller than 0 we verified that the maximum point is at r is equal to 2 and 2 over 3. So we verify that.
this point is definitely the maximum. So let's draw a graph at the end just to show you, but we've already done um, the solution. So the solution is r is equal to 2 and 2 over 3 centimeters. Actually, let's find the height as well. So the height is equal to um, 14 minus 7 r over 2. So that's equal to 14 minus 7 times 2 and 2 thirds over 2. And the calculator gives me 4.666. So that's 4 and uh, 2 thirds centimeters. Right, so if you sort of imagine it on our diagram, okay, the maximum height is going to be where the radius is two and two thirds. Right, the radius is two and two thirds. And the height is four and um, what was it? Really bad memory. Four and two thirds. Okay, uh, finally, let's draw a graph of the volume. So I'm going to graph uh, this equation here. I'm going to draw a graph of this to show you where the maximum volume is. So I'm going to type that equation into Desmos. So you can see here this is a graph of the radius against the volume and when the radius is at 2.666 which is about here we have the maximum volume which is about um, 104 uh, cubic centimeters. Okay, 